On Chapter 2, we'll add more features to our simple watch face from Chapter 1. Before we start, let's talk about the timeline. The timeline helps you control the time changes from 0 to 24 hours simply by moving the sliding bar. Also, it allows you to control battery conditions. Now let's try to add the battery complication. When you click the complication icon on the component window, you can see many complications which are used in the gear. When you mouse over to battery, there you can see battery complication presets. I'll go ahead and pick one. The selected battery complication is placed at the center of the screen. Move it to proper location and resize it. Now, I'll delete the preset battery complication as I'm going to create my own. To load your own battery image, click Image on the component window. Select the image folder, then load all the images. Since I already set the appropriate image size a while ago, I don't need to move and resize them. Next up, Click the Add button on the right of the timeline and click Battery. Notice that the battery conditional line appeared. Battery level is displayed from 0% to 100, much like the timeline. Let's try editing it. First of all, you need to understand the layer structure. Hide the loaded images and let's check one by one. Image 10 is the icon to show when the battery level is below 20%, image 9 when it reaches 100, and image 8 for the battery level in between. Image 7 will be the background image. Image 6 is the boundary. while images 1 to 5 show the levels of battery, and image 0 will appear when the battery level is below 20%. Unhide all again. Then let's apply the battery conditions. Move images 7 and 6 to the bottom most layer. Then drag the frame to select. Right click, then activate. Activate means that the selected layer will be controlled by activated condition. Now click yes on the pop-up. Drag again to select frames, then right click. You can see that there are a lot of options like show or hide the layer under selected conditions. Let's change those conditions. Images 7 and 6 are background images, so keep them on show status. Hide all other layers. Make image 0 appear if remaining battery is below 20%. Make images 1 and 2 appear if the battery level is over 20%. In the same way, image 3 is for over 40%. Image 4 is for over 60%. Image 5 is for over 80%. Image 8 is for the battery level range of 20 to 99%, while image 9 is only for 100%, and the image 10 is for less than 20%. Now, adjustment on the battery conditions is completed. You can check if it's well synced by moving the bar, 
if the colors are different when below 20% and others. You can also control digital clock and hands in the same way. I'll show you how to control the steps. Let me explain it with another design. Before loading another project, save the current project and click File, then New Project. Then select Climb 1 in the sample. Here, the Steps tab already exists. To show you how to make it appear, I'll close it first and load it again. It's the same way as adding the battery condition. Click Add on the right side of the Timeline tab and select Steps. There you can see the steps conditional line. Okay, now let's move back to our previous work. Load the night run again. Go to File, the new project, then select My Project. Load the project you're working on, then hit OK. This time, let's make a button. With a button, you can change images and you can launch other apps. In this project, I'll show you how to change the image using a button. The image to be changed is a background. Select an image on the components window. Then load a background image. Reorder that image to the bottom most layer. You can click Send to Back to do that easily. Move it one layer forward to place it just in front of the background image. Keeping the current selection, click Menu button in the Properties window. Over at the Action tab, add an action by clicking this button. Then select Change Image. In Action Detail, click the first Add button to add an image to be changed. You can add up to six images, but for now, we're going to add only three. Hit Run to see if the feature works. When you click the background, the background image is changed. In the Real Gear device, it changes as you touch the screen. For the next step, I will delete the buttons. OK, so now I'm going to explain the Always On mode. Always On mode helps extend battery life by displaying very limited features with limited colors. You can set the images to be displayed in always-on mode. Click Turn on always-on mode button at the top right corner. Notice that the editing mode changed to always-on mode. Also, some of the objects disappeared except the hour and minutes. For saving energy, Always on mode only supports eight colors. I'm going to change the colors here first. Let's make the hour objects white and minute objects yellow. Now let's run to test it. In the Run window, there is the Always On Mode button. Clicking on it toggles between the Active and Always On modes. You can compare both. Well, anti-aliasing is not applied on Always On Mode. Close the pop-up window. Click Active button to go back to Active Mode. Next up, we'll add text here. Select Text from the Component window. There are text options here. 
and I will select battery text. Place the text underneath the battery indicator and resize it. You can also set the percent to show or hide by configuring the display type over at the properties window. Let's test it with battery conditional line. We can see that it's well synced. So now we have made an advanced watch face. On the next chapter, I'm going to explain how to add animations to the watch face.